aka Watch Me Learn. And um, I'm going to just take y'all on this journey with me. On this car hauling journey. Today is actually uh, officially day six for United Road. And uh, it's been quite a journey already. Um, so, like I said, United Road, they'll hire you without any experience, uh, any car haul experience. They'll hire you as long as you got some truck driving experience. Um, but I, I, don't, I don't think you have to have any, uh, I'm almost certain you don't have to have any car haul experience. Because I know one guy that came in with me, he didn't have any car haul experience. He had some flatbed experience hauling some big uh, uh, military trucks or military vehicles on the, on the flatbed, he said but um, no car haul experience at all whatsoever. So um, from what I understand, I think I've seen it somewhere too on their the website or whatever. Yeah, you don't have to have any car haul experience with, uh, with United Road. A lot of car haul companies you do have to have some car haul experience, but with, um, with this company here, I um, believe you don't have to have any. But anyway, I had a, I had a little bit, I had some, some, a little bit of car haul experience because I did some work with a buddy of mine was carriers, um, Asmar, and over there about that truck life. Followed him on uh, about that truck life on IG. But he um he taught me a lot, a lot <clears throat> within the couple weeks I was working. I was only with him for I, I wasn't I wasn't with Asmar too long. But I see I I've known him for years and I have worked with him before. But in car hauling, you 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 learn a lot in a little bit of time. You might not become an expert at it or whatever, or be really good or great or whatever, but you'll learn a lot of things because there's a lot of little things you have to do in order to, you know, load these cars on here, especially with the big car, with the nine car, or a 10 car hauler, um, or even eight or seven car hauler. You, you have to, there's a lot of little things you gotta remember, especially with these big, with these, with these mid rail trailers and these high rails. Um, you know, there's a lot of little things you need to remember in order to make sure everything right. It's like a puzzle. You know, you can, you can, and the thing is, you can do all, you can remember all this other stuff as soon as you forget this one piece, it, it's, it's going to make the puzzle incomplete. And that's how it is. It seems like in, in car hauling, you know, it's like a, excuse me, it's like a puzzle you put together. And once you forget to put that one piece together, everything might look messed up or fall apart because you know it's like a puzzle you can't you can't put a puzzle a pretty uh, puzzle you can put a puzzle together and it can be real beautiful but if you're missing that one piece they're gonna say what's wrong with this piece they can't recognize the beauty of the puzzle the fact that the puzzle is all glamorous they're gonna all they're gonna focus on is that one missing piece like where's this piece at it's not a complete puzzle because it's missing a piece so in car hall then you kind of gotta you gotta kind of put it all together you gotta make sure all the pieces is together best to get building and I know it sounds like a lot because it is a lot but you'll you'll some certain stuff will just stick with you. You know and that's why I asked my trainer, uh my first trainer at United Road, I said what's the most three what's the three most important things I, that you would you know if you had to tell somebody three things about car hauling, you know what would those three things be? Okay. And the first thing he said number one is pin your load down. Always make sure you pin your load. You know, once you start loading, and, and, and he, he said, you pin your load while you load, as you load in the, the trailer, you gotta make sure you pin your load off. Of course, you gotta pin it before you go down the road. Um, two, always remember to keep the pin while you're going down the road so it don't come down on the cars, and so the top cars up top don't come down on the bottom cars. If, if something had happened to your hydraulic, uh, your um, hydraulic pump, or whatever the case may be, um, you know, just in case you got it pinned off. But he said that's this, this number one rule in car hauling is always pin your load with these, you know, nine car car um, trailers or ten car trailers or whatever. As long as you got something to go up and down, always pin your load. That's number one. Number two, he said, take your time. Don't get in a hurry. Don't get in a rush because you know nine times out of ten, once you start hurrying, trying to get in a rush and hurry and trying to compete with the other people that's next to you, is loading their trailer, trying to load your trailer fast. And they've been doing it for years and you just started. He said, take your time. Don't worry about what the next guy doing. Just, you know, focus on what you're doing and take your time. And then number three, I forgot. I got to ask him again. And then I'll get number three and I'll write them all down. So people can, I can share them with the people. 
that's interested in car hauling. You know what I'm saying? But number one rule for, for, for my trainer, he said, pin your load. That's his number one advice. Make sure you pin your load because you don't want to be under that trailer. If that thing come down on you, and people say, you know, oh, it ain't gonna come down. But like he said, it could, it could, it could, it could come down on you. So just in case, you want to make sure you pin that load while you while you loading. And you only technically you only have to pin one side while you load. While you load, while you when you while you ride down the road, you want all your pins in while you ride down the road. You want every pin in there, all, you know, all the way around on both sides, the right side and the left side. You know, but. While you loading, technically, if you pin one side, you know, you can rest assured that, you know, at least that, that, that's going to hold it from coming down on you. You know, for the most part, if the other side happened to malfunction or, or whatever the case may be, at least you got that one side that's going to that's give you some support. So if you, if you feel more comfortable pinning the whole thing while you load, that's fine too. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but at least you want to at least pin one side while you load. You know, and the other thing, like I said, like you said, take your time. I forgot the third piece of advice he gave me. But anyway, like I said, you know, this is the rookie car hauler signing in. Um, I just came over with that name. I think I'm gonna ride with that boy. I think I'm gonna roll with that. And I'm gonna just take y'all on this journey with me. You know what I'm saying? This new journey of car hauling that has, uh, it's only been a week now, but today is Sunday. I started last Friday. So I, 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 I bought they get busted me in on the Greyhound to South Carolina from Atlanta and got me a hotel room all week for last week. And then uh, Friday we finally got a load. They didn't know what they was gonna do with me, but Friday we finally loaded up in Greer. Uh, BMW, got a load of BMWs and I got with a trainer. They finally found me a trainer. They were supposed to send me to Lawrenceville, but to get loaded and get a trainer, meet my trainer down there, but they found me a trainer down here. So I'm, I'm riding, that's my trainer. That's my trainer in front of me right there. I'm riding behind him. So we riding together um, on our way to Texas. And then from there we uh, go to uh, um, Christmas, Aniston, Texas, and then Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, you know, it's like a two day trip, two and a half days to get to, uh, I think to get to Texas in order to get the, uh, yeah, to get the first stop, I believe, like two days, a good two days of driving. Um, two and a half days. I think it's like 1,500 miles for the first stop. So, about 500 miles, 600 miles a day, five, 600 miles a day. And then, you know, shut her down. Nothing too crazy. These trucks are slow, they're not that fast. Um, so, I think it max is like 65 miles an hour. So, it's all good. You know, you car hauling, you car hauling, you know, you, you want to be zoom zoom, but you, you know you still want to you know take your time and make sure everything is your load is safe and stuff like that's most that's more important than just trying to rush and get somewhere. So anyway, um, once again, like I said, it's the first trip, my first load, my first week. This my this is gonna be starting my second week over here with United Road. They done put a load on my back already. A load of BMWs at that. I got an X5 up front above my head, above the head rack. Um, and I got an X7 at the back of me. These are all SUV uh, BMWs. I got the, uh, yeah, the X7 at the tail end. That's the first stop. They only get one car, one BMW, an X7. And then uh, New Mexico is getting all the rest of them. I got, I got eight cars. I got uh, seven on here today. I got seven and he got, I think he got, uh, I think he got seven too. I think he got seven or eight. No, we normally only pull eight, maximum eight out of BMW rear, BMW factory. So he either got seven or eight on his trail. Well, he's a nice guy. He's training me. He's my, basically, I guess you call my second trainer at United Road. My first trainer was the guy that never leaves the yard. He's just designated to train people at this point, get them all set up and pick them up from the hotel, and, you know, set everybody up and then, and then you get you a, like a personal trainer that you actually go out with. Um, and then you ride back to back with. So this is a money load, this mo this load you get, instead of me getting, you know, training pay or whatever, I'm getting paid for actually what I'm doing at this point. And this load, you know, is paying, uh, I think it's paying like 55, 5600 to the truck. So I get 25% uh, of that. Be around about 1400. So, I'm around here. I did the math earlier. It's like 1400. 14 is some change. So, that's it. I'll keep you posted on, uh, on the next move and everything like that. Just kind of share my journey. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? You know, this is the rookie car hauler, aka 
journey, share my journey, watch my journey, however you call it. And that's what, that's what we're going to do it. All right? All right, signing off. Stay safe out there. Oh, yeah, and if anybody want to join United Road, I'm going to uh, put a link in the bottom of the video that you can definitely uh, click on and, and, uh, and sign on. I try to find a link that I want to put down there so you can click on it and join United Road and uh, use me as a reference. Um, I definitely get some compensation for bringing in new drivers. Um, so, you know, but it's all good. I think it's a decent company. They don't feed you down here in South Carolina. So if you do come, come in, you better go somewhere else if you want them to feed you lunch while you're in orientation. They didn't feed us. But other than that, it was a pleasant. You know, everybody is very nice. Very, very, very nice people. The mechanics are nice. The office people are nice. They, you know, the site manager uh, is nice. Uh, uh, you know, so everyone's real nice and everything like that. They're really, very helpful. Lunches and stuff, you gotta find somewhere else to do orientation. You know what I mean? But anyway, yeah, you can click the link in the, in the, in the uh, bottom down there in the description and get the uh, get that link. And I'll, I'll leave some other links down there as well for those of you that uh, are interested in uh, some things like investing and things of that nature. Um, that's another thing that I like to research as much as I can the stock market and you know, try to you know, research. Investment. I use the Robinhood app and the uh, I use the Robinhood app and I use the uh, different apps like TD Ameritrade is the best one I like to use long term. Uh, Robinhood is uh, short term option trade and things of that nature. Try to, try to figure that stuff out. I'm still learning that too. I'm still learning all of that. Just, just learning, just trying to trial and error. And of course, the Weibo um, base. But anyway, I'll leave some links in the bio so anybody want to join that stuff and start learning and you know start putting money into the market. And uh, you're more than welcome to click the link and get you some. I think you get like a free, a couple free stocks here and there with some of the links. Um, and with Coinbase, I think you get something for free as well. If you, click, if you sign up with my link, you'll get something and I'll get something. Not major, just something small. Get a cup of coffee with me or something like that. Uh, anyway. Until next time, Mr. Rookie Car Hauler, a.k.a. Watch Me Learn. All right, signing off. See y'all on the next one.